The airport terminal in the capital city of Port-au-Prince is not among the fallen, but with the exterior supports buckled, it is unsafe. And yet even with the damage, Haiti's main airport is up and running and busier than ever. It's 4.30 in the morning and aircraft are stacked up, waiting to drop off aid workers and supplies before moving out to make room for the next one in line. It's taking a while to offload right now just because they're so busy right here, but uh, as soon as we can get this offload, it will take off because the sooner we get out, the more sooner other planes will come in. The plane, a C-17 from Papa Hungry, is part of the heavy airlift wing, a multinational force made up of Air Force members from 12 nations. Today's aid mission was organized by Sweden, flown by a crew from the U.S., Sweden, Romania, Norway, and Poland, and delivers equipment and personnel from Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Norway, and Estonia. A truly multinational effort to assist a country in need. The end goal is, of course, to help the national population of Haiti due to this earthquake. Uh, but our specific uh, task at this moment is to build a base camp for the interagency organizations, giving them the support so they can sleep, work, eat, and do their job. The equipment needed for a multinational crisis center stationed in Haiti requires many trips from Sweden. The first trip alone consists of 15 pallets of equipment and a small startup crew which is expected to build up to 200 persons. Right now the airport of Port France is the main uh, hub for getting uh, personnel and equipment into Haiti. And this is where they plan to set up base camp. When completed, it's planned to remain in operation for at least three months. But with the number of dead rising almost daily and the overwhelming scope of devastation, all are expected to stay much longer. This is by far the most uh, serious situation yet. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael McCool, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.